In this video, we're going to talk about coterminal angles. So, angles have the property that you can have two different angles that look the same. Um, let's look at 30 degrees versus 390 degrees. So 30 degrees is somewhere around there. That's probably a little closer to 45. Let's try again. Thirty degrees is maybe around there. What about three hundred ninety degrees? Well, there are three hundred sixty degrees in a circle, together with another thirty degrees to make three hundred ninety. So 390 degrees looks like this. And if you remember that an angle has a terminal side and an initial side, 30 degrees and 390 degrees have the same terminal side. Definition, two angles are called co-terminal if they share the same terminal side. Uh, to make that a little more formal, I should say two angles in the standard position. So two angles that have the x-axis as their initial side. Um, this is going to be very useful in trigonometry um, because it's going to mean that often we can work with small angles instead of large angles. Um, and, you know, just from personal experience, that working with smaller numbers is usually going to be easier than working with large numbers. So let's talk about um, this as our primary goal for this video. Given an angle that's not between zero and 360 degrees, so given a negative angle or given a large positive angle, we'd like to find a coterminal angle that is between zero and 360 degrees. And then once we've seen how to do this, the same pro basic process will work with radians. So we'll, um, we'll accomplish that as well. We'll start here. If the angle is greater than 360 degrees, then to find this coterminal angle, we'll repeatedly subtract 360 degrees 
until we get a number between zero and 360. Um, what we're actually doing here is dividing by 360 and taking the remainder. But this is probably going to be easier in practice. Like your calculator isn't going to give you a remainder if you use it to do division. So just coming up with an example, let's take 1,732 degrees and let's find a co-terminal angle between zero and 360. According to what I've written, we should just be repeatedly subtracting. We subtract once. This number we get is not between zero and 360. We subtract again. This number still not between zero and 360. I confess this process can get a little tedious. Let me skip to the end, if we keep subtracting 360, we eventually wind up with 292. So 1,732 degrees and 292 degrees are co-terminal angles. And 292 is in this range we were interested in. If you've got a negative angle and you want a coterminal angle between 0 and 360, it's a similar process, but you're adding instead of subtracting. So we already did one kind of lengthy example. So let's keep uh, this one briefer. Let's say you have negative 45 degrees and you want a coterminal angle between zero degrees and 360 degrees. Well, we repeatedly add 360 degrees until we're in this range. I used the word repeatedly, but in this example, we just have to do the addition once, 315. And again, just so we're sure we're all on the same page about what's going on here, Negative 45 degrees is this, positive 315 degrees is this. So these two angles both have this line segment as the terminal side. You can maybe sort of deduce, I mean, how you would modify this if you're working with radians instead of degrees, bearing in mind that 360 degrees is two pi radians. 
If we're working with radians, our goal is going to be modified in a natural way. Instead of wanting an angle between 0 and 360, we would want an angle between 0 and 2 pi. And instead of adding or subtracting 360, if we're working with radians, we will be adding and subtracting 2 pi. So like 7 pi over 2. Here's an angle that's greater than 2 pi, um, 2 pi being 4 pi over 2. If we want to find a coterminal angle between 0 and 2 pi, we repeatedly subtract 2 pi until we get into this range. So using our common denominator, three pi over two is in this interval. It's clearly greater than zero and it's less than four pi over two. Wrapping up, if we've got a negative angle, so an angle less than zero, and we want the coterminal angle in this interval, then just like we did with degrees, we repeatedly add. With degrees, it was 360 degrees. With radians, it's 2 pi radians. So, what if you have negative pi over 3, and you want a coterminal angle between 0 and 2 pi? Well, you add 2 pi until you get into that interval. In this case, you just have to add 2 pi once. 5 pi over 3 is between 0 and 2 pi. Um, if that's not, I mean, I hope it's obvious that a positive number is greater than 0. If it's not obvious that it's less than 2 pi, get a common denominator. 2 pi over 1 is 6 pi over 3. And certainly 5 is less than 6. So that's how you find these coterminal angles.